Your spine is made of bones called vertebrae that protect your spinal cord, and they're stacked on top of one another with cushions or discs to help with compression and movement. Your spinal cord runs through a canal in the center of each of these vertebrae. Nerve roots split from the spinal cord and travel between the vertebrae through spaces called foramina into various areas of your body. When these nerve roots become pinched or damaged, the resulting symptoms are called radiculopathy. Radiculopathy comes from the Latin word radix, meaning root, and the Greek word pathia, meaning suffering. When your body detects tissue damage, the immune system responds by sending white blood cells to that area to protect it in the form of inflammation. Radiculopathy often happens as a result of a bulging or herniated disc, which pinches the root ending inside the foramina and causes inflammation. Radiculopathy can also be caused by facet hypertrophy, where the inflammation causes the facet joints to swell, pinching the nerve root. Radiculopathy often happens in the lower back or the lumbar area of the spine, but can happen in the mid and upper back, the thoracic area, or neck, the cervical area. One way Dr. Potter treats that inflammation of the nerve root is by what is called an epidural steroid injection, or epidural. He injects a local anesthetic and a steroid into the epidural space around the section of a spinal cord that is inflamed, and the steroid calms the inflammation to the spinal cord and those specific nerve roots. There are different ways to inject the medication, transferaminal, interlaminar, caudal, and he will determine which is best for each patient. It's a simple, minimally invasive outpatient procedure and usually takes him about 15 to 30 minutes, but it is more invasive than an office visit and does require an x-ray machine. Because all bodies are different, Dr. Potter cannot guarantee each procedure will provide perfect pain relief, and most patients need more than one epidural. He can usually perform up to three epidurals in a six-month period. If the epidurals do work, you can often have relief from that pain for months. Now you know a lot more about radiculopathy and epidurals. Feel free to ask me any questions that you have during our visit today.